because the Virgin get back in visa. I tell you, Jamaica is not easy, you know. Your last week, I talk about everybody become journalists. Everybody turn journalists, you know. Them know this, them know that, them know why this, why visa get back. and Them don't know nothing. Them don't know nothing. I can't believe that the things when me hear people put on this YouTube thing about where them know and where them don't know. You know. And none of them don't know nothing. Just scandalize and demonize and criticize and... Blessed love, my viewers and subscribers who are going. Hope they are doing good. Hope they are doing great. Now, my people, we are here again on the Soldier TV with another Muta Baruka content. And this one is the latest cutting edge as of Wednesday, May the 15th, 2024. The latest. Now, my people, in this one, there's a whole lot discussed, including propaganda that been circulating on the internet pertaining to. Bujubantan receiving his visa and also Vibes Cartel case was brought up on a whole lot of information pertaining to Bob Marley. So this one will be really, really interested, my people. So definitely stay tuned. And before I get into it, you know it's a black power movement. So definitely drop a like and subscribe and share to a friend or a family so they can be a part of the movement. No, my people, let's take a walk. This is the cutting edge. We lay out with you on next Wednesday night. Warm, may I tell you? Well, warm, man. Hey, you know what them say? Them said this last year was the hottest year in Jamaica. Them said this weekend, yeah, will be the hottest, especially Saturday. Them are predict say it's going to be the hottest ever. So, me don't know. We have to tell you old people them to keep indoors, you know. And who are your condition I go burn and fan I go run like wild. So why you know that? We we'll tell you that. Say them say this weekend yeah, going to be the artist you ever feel in a Jamaica. We we'll give thanks to Shane Clark, him the on the other line. We give thanks to him. So here we know. We have an interview line up. With a sister last week, we did have our pan the um pan the stepping razor and we only put things are going so we couldn't get to finish the interview. So we'll put it off till tonight. So she she's from the DRC, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And she has some very interesting things she wants to share with Jamaica and share with the cutting edge listeners. So why are you staying tuned for that? So you know, you know say Bujo Bantan and Vibes Cartel is the only two Jamaican artists right now. When me say can't solo out Madison Square Garden. I talk about single singing, I mean I don't tour them one time. Cause you know Vibes Cartel, they are prison, but Bojo, we solo out Madison. I know one is a reason about it. I mean I say yes. I think that Bojo can solo out. Madison, and it have happened because the Virgin get back in visa. I tell you, Jamaica is not easy, you know. Your last week, I talk about everybody become journalists. Everybody turn journalists, you know. Them know this, them know that, them know why this, why visa get back. and Them don't know nothing. Them don't know nothing. I can't believe that the things when me hear people put on this YouTube thing about where them know and where them don't know, you know. And none of them don't know nothing. Just scandalize and demonize and criticize and... Oh, we stay so, Rasta. Oh, we stay so. Man, you see the man, the, 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 the American... The argument we have flashed left and right, left and right, and and them don't know, them don't know. Man, I like give you information about when you get this or this and this that and this that. Them don't know nothing. May I tell you that? Man, why well, we stay away, Rasta? We broke down, broke down, broke down, broke down. 
And this YouTube thing, I make everybody feel like it's a journalist, you know. News reporting. All them something they're doing, you know, news reporting. Big news and big headline. We don't have nothing to do with the story. I say it all the while, but I don't stop saying it. Because it happened to me too. And it's it, 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 it terrible, man. Terrible. Oh, I see man do. To man. Man to man is so unjust. Believe you me. Man to man. Very unjust. Yes, so we there with you. You know, since I leave here, one of the most, I mean, grievous thing, take a hold of me. And up to now, I can't get to over it. For those of you who know the music fraternity and know the brethren and name, Desi Jack Jones. Desi Jack Jones. Pass with Friday. Or Saturday, man, one of them. Friday. I hear them to that play downtown Friday. Show no sign of nothing. I beat a lick him jump said we here. And pass away. No. The reason why this brethren is so close to my heart. And when I say close, I mean close to my heart. Is that me and him. I tour the world. When I say the world, I mean the world. Me not talk about just go to America and run, come back. Me not talk about one week in a one country, one week in a next country, and just a go on and a go on, come back to Jamaica, go to the next continent, and this and that. And me and the brethren have shared this relationship for 30 years. 30 odd years, me and him a tour. Yes. Because we've been out there with other band. We've been out there with other band, but as a soldier like myself, yeah, we go out there and break enough ground. Only for years of the bridge in dead from heart attack. We don't show no sign. And I like say, you see a man sick and he's in bed and you just him up at the hospital and you go look for him and you know you just him come out of the hospital and you go look for him and then you just him dead. That bridge you not show no sign. A one thing me know him have a bad eye man him asthma. And me and him depend on the road and when him a beat him drum, you know him asthma take him and chew me at the poet, me, have to, me, me just stop me just Hold on with the music and go and talk to the audience and read two poems and then make him come back when him take him pump and him thing there. But the brethren, dead Rasta. Me don't know who. Don't know him. Don't, we, we feel, you know, he used to play with Chalice. He was Chalice drummer. And one time he just joking and looked upon them and say, hey, I got teeth on the drummer, you know. <laughs> We were teeth for the drummer, you know, and it just so happened that him become my drummer. And him go at Jimmy Cliff and him come back to my drumming, my drum. Him know every poem, every card, upon all of my poems that I perform. We are not supposed to do a show the other day and a year, a year, as me that say, a year, me not do a show with a band. And we decided to say, we're going to do a show for Skyline. And rain come, and it never happened. And we say, all right, we're going to do it this Saturday, we are come. This Saturday, we are come. That we start worse for it. Only for years to the bridge in gone. I feel it till I can't, I don't know. I, it, it, it's still mind-boggling to me. I can't get a bridge in the outer med. Believe you me. The amount of joy and happiness and the amount of disappointments and things where we have on the road is unbelievable, man. I mean, everybody who tore enough go through them certain something there, them things there, you know. But when we hear say Desi Jones dead. 
I mean, no, no, it's a blow, Rasta. It's a blow. Consider and say, me and him never have an argument yet. He might the leader of him band, school band. Me and him never have an argument yet. I will run the most joke. The most joke, if you, if you hear, if you hear me at the bus, then you will never know, say, man can run them serious joke every one another and laugh. Laugh. Me with my old foods, health food, and even them Chinese restaurant them. Sometimes we are driving on another highway, and I know a foreign highway long, whether in a Europe or whether in a America. The highway them long, and if you turn back on the highway, you have to drive up far and come round. And sometimes we are driving on the highway, and when them look down, him say, well, I'm I always ask them, I say, see a Chinese restaurant there. You see the driver, he better turn, go up the road and come back down on the highway there. Forgot that Chinese restaurant there, you know. Yes. And when him see a Whole Foods, because my uncle go a Whole Foods, when him see a Whole Foods, he said, Mota, I just passed a whole food restaurant, a whole, not restaurant, a whole food shop, you know. Supermarket, them, a supermarket, them whole foods. And no care where the driver do. He could have sleep in the day, two, three, drive a little long. He have to wake up and carry me go to whole foods. And the same thing with Desi. Any child, no care where the... As a matter of fact, we have, we have mapped out which part and which part the store them there before we reach the town, you know. And call which part of the Chinese restaurant there, which part of the old foods there. It's a sad thing. Sad thing, Rasta. I mean, all the old musical fraternity. Because a rounded musician, he no longer play reggae. He, he write the first book on drumming in a Jamaica. That's for sure how up there the man is. The man write a book about drumming. It's it, it painful, Rasta. Very painful. When we know, say, we now go up on the road again. We just, we, we just attack to our one for go to Brazil. Brazil, we go we go to Desi Yard. Less than a week before, and I talked to him. Say, we are going to Brazil. And the man just gone. Just like that. His wife says, I attack. Just like that. The other day, we go St. Martin's. Joshua, I'm son, I play bass. Nick, I play guitar, and Christopher McNally, who no left. I play keyboard. I will go to St. Martin. I will come forward. And the next gig where we are going to know was up at Skyline. And after we have done this Saturday, we are make the arrangement for go to Brazil. And the man just gone and left my rasta. Well, that terrible thing him do that. Him shouldn't do that. Him shouldn't do that, man. The man just gone and left me. Gone left him son, gone left him daughter, gone left him wife, gone left him bridging them, showing no sign of sickness. No sign, it's not like you, you, you can't see him and I say, if you go up a doctor, you know, go check out, check out this, I check out that, you know. You must just move in normal, maybe my feel pain and not tell nobody neither, you know. Yeah, maybe my feel pain and not tell nobody, but may I tell you, Rasta? I feel it. When I say feel it, you know. Oh, gosh, man. Terrible thing. Terrible thing. Kezi, Jack Jones, Passway. Long live Desi Jack Jones. I'd like to say. Because enough things we do on the road, man. Enough things. As I say, enough ground we broke. We go place where we'll leave an artist. Never go yet. I just said that day, I see man, I go there. And I said, boy, you know, so I go there. And I said, we are broke ground from in the 80s, 90s. Some of them artists are never born yet. 
We are, we are sold out place. We are going to a place where your man attacks him and go, yes, or no, one of them here. The man never even knows a dub poetry can do them here. You tell all people who never did, they say, we used to sell out some place in a Europe there. Man, that's a motor. There's no poetry we read. Yes, yeah, a poetry we read, but we play it with music too. We are yellow Gibby, you know. We are yellow China. McDonald, all the man them who Christopher married the two pass with that idea. Hey, so, alright, make a play some music. You know, we have a thing, we have a thing, you know, where first of all, we don't deal with late. We don't deal with late on the road at all. From the man them say, nine o'clock bus. Every man have seen at the bus by nine. And we have a thing where we are say, you say any man not in at the bus by the hour when I'm supposed to in at the bus. He may go each one a dollar. Or if they are Europe, we say each, well, them they, they have Dutch mark and all them something there. In, in, a, in, a, in a Germany and the other money them, the Krona and all them money there, we say, you will give each one a dollar, one US dollar, if you're late, including the driver. <laughs> It clue in the drive. So I saw we drop it. You see, if we depend on the road and the road manager goes up, Obama, we are driving along and reach our hotel and we're going to the room no television now in there. We sit down at the lobby till them find a hotel give away television in there. And I'm me and Desi that. I'm me and Desi that we can't go in a hotel room and have no TV. We, you have some place in Europe, you know, them put in at the hotel, them and the bathroom, you have to come out of the room and go down the, 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 the hallway for go to the bathroom. We say we're doing all that, and so we live in Jamaica. We use a bathroom and tile it. When you jump out of your bed, you watch a man. I don't know, I don't know if, 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 if poor stays the same, you know, but I don't expect it to be different still. But my experience with that bridging is life experience. Life experience. It's a bridging where the time knows that we're not going to late and even do them things so we're going to late. Then wake up everybody when time comes to go up on the bus. And it's a man who will take all your passport when you reach at the airport and go check on everybody. And he might just a drummer. We don't left it to no road manager to do this and do that and do that. All my daughter used to depend on the road with me. We go to Brazil and we go to Africa. Well, I may tell you some place where we go. I don't know if all the parties are going to them places again, you know. But me know say, me and school band go to some place where Wolipa one never go yet. I can't remember the name of the city them. In Africa, in Europe, in Japan, in a... Oh gosh, man. I tell you, it's a beat me get. Yeah, me get a beat Rasta. That's why I cry. Yeah. And when my wife see me cry, she knows say eh, she can't do nothing about that, but she knows me feel it. Cause I let a man who cry, cry, baby. Will he power one dead and I just feel sad. But when Desi Jones dead, tears come at me eye like rain rasta. And I can't forget him. From from last week till now. I'm just in my mind, in my, in my mind. I can't forget him. So Desi, I saw it go. But you know say. Everyone are going to end up at the same place. Everyone are going to end up at the same place. <laughs> See, uh, man, I get confused when I play all the music too fast. <laughs> I play the music too fast. If I want to see that movie, I'm going to see it, you know, Shaka Zulu. I Google it on YouTube. 
I said, I'm not Google all the, the craziness, the madness. I spread propaganda upon people and I discredit people's integrity. Because that is what the most is, though. You are one of cuss one. It's discredit them, I try to discredit it. You know, see? And them don't know nothing. <laughs> they don't know nothing, Rasta. They don't know nothing. What is life? Thursday, we'll have an interview with our sister and we have to about it because of so much things that are going on in the program. So we decided to say we have to bring her forward today. I don't want to slaughter her name, you know. I'm going to say, so a samba. Good night. Good evening, Muta. How are you doing? I am totally okay. You, you, what, pronounce your first name. My first name is Swao. Swao Samba. Yes. La- no, Samba. Samba is my last name. Yeah, the last Swao name. Swao is my last name. Okay, all right. I pronounce it right then. Okay. So, Thursday we the start off the reasoning and we want to start over. You were telling us about the organization that you have, mm-hmm. you're the CEO of. What is the purpose mm-hmm. of the organization? All right, so it is a tra- it is a travel agency. A travel agency, we are offering the opportunity to the African diaspora in the North and Latin America and within the Caribbean, the opportunity to come discover the business, investment, work, and relocating opportunities that you have in the Congo. It's very important for us to be able to um, give the information to our diaspora because right now everybody's in Africa, the Indians, Chinese, um, Europeans, Americans, everybody's there building wealth, creating their generational wealth and building their own countries. But the own people who are not receiving the information is our own community. Yeah. And so that's why um, I've, I'm, I'm working with the, my, with the government to be able to um, give the opportunity to the country, uh, no, the diaspora, to be able to come on tours, 21-day tours, and where you will go to uh, the two main capitals, Kinshasa and Lubashi. Mm-hmm. And, to, and so we will go to see the startups, SMEs, learn about the whole ecosystem. There is also be a part of the ancestry tours to reconnect with the, the, the ancestry of the country. And so this is why we are here. And okay. this is really the message we have for our brothers and sisters here in uh, Jamaica. All right. Most people, well, most of us who are familiar with Africa is mostly upon the West mm-hmm. Coast, Ethiopia, or South Africa. But mm-hmm. the Congo seems to be a place where, because we hear about, just like Jamaica, we are all heap of violence, all heap of war, civil war, thousands of people are dead, white people are dig out the mineral resources and that cause a whole heap of killing and them something they are going on. Tell me something that we're missing from the whole the, the, the Republic of the Congo. Tell me something we were missing. Like in a Jamaica now, white people not get, tourists not get killed in a Jamaica. Black people are killed black people. So tourism is a big thing in a Jamaica now. It's one of the, 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 the places to go. You know, the travel places. Mm-hmm. Even though sometimes America say, why them I give travel advisory. Travel advisory, America don't listen to that. Them go anywhere. Tell me something that we should be aware of and we don't know about the Congo, where we always have a perception about. Well, the perception is, the most of the time when people ask me about Congo, they ask me or about the minerals, the, the, the belt, or about the war. But the, it's very important for the uh, people to understand that we are more than just our, our, our minerals and we are more than just the fight that the, the international uh, communities has been putting us through for the 30 plus years for our minerals. We are, like Jamaicans, a very cultural, rich country with, where you can actually have a very good quality of life. So it's, we, I just really want to encourage people to really be open-minded and not really listen to what the Western world is trying to portray, as we know that they don't really want to portray a good image of us in general, because they, they, they don't want us to be together. They don't want us 
to learn from each other. So we should be a little bit more smarter, you know. Okay. All right. So this this thing that you're doing now, give us an idea of mm -hmm. how we go about going farming in line with with your your travel Excuse agent. Me? Hello. Hello. Can, uh, is, can you uh, yes? Can you come again, please? I'm saying that. Your your travel agent, your organization. Oh, if if you are interested in it, what is it that we are going there to see, observe, and also, oh, what we do to get there? What what your travel agent will do for us to get there? So we would we will we would uh, take the, the your, I mean you will of course pay for the trip, but we will take in charge. The flight, the visas, the whole paperwork, the accommodation, and give you then the opportunities when you're on, on the ground to meet with the different ministers of economy, um, uh, and foreign affairs, and to meet the different uh, plants, factories, where and the diff and have incubators, understand the whole ecosystem and the business and the opportunities that you have on the ground, see the lands from some people who want to buy land see the different lands that are available and there and if you want to invest in tourism or real estate or anything you really want to do or in education or anything just to understand and come so but then whenever you come back to Jamaica you can say okay now I've seen the, uh, the, the ground I've, I understand I understand the, the, the realities now I can have a more clear idea and say okay I will be interested in investing in this this and this Oh, 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 the response. How long have you been here, by the way? How long have you been here? Excuse me? How long have you been here? I, I, I met you in Portland. How long have you been here? I, I, I can't hear you clearly. How long have you been in Jamaica? Uh, I've been in Jamaica one month now. One month. And what is the response to what you, what you are well, about? It's positive. People, people love Africa and people really want to come to Africa, but the thing is the means. Most of the people who have the means, then unfortunately don't look to Africa in that sense, but then the ones who don't have the means, they look to Africa in that sense. Yeah. So it's now for me to be able to find the balance and to find people who have the means, they have the interest. <laughs> to go there, yes, 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 because as I say, most people from the West Coast, them go, you know, Rastafari, Ghana, Ethiopia, other places, South Africa, Zimbabwe. It's, it's just unfortunate that, at, I guess, I guess, as you say, it's because of the whole heap of things that we hear, especially with um, with the guy from Uganda named. Not Uganda, Uganda, not Uganda. Um, from Rwanda, from Rwanda. Rwanda, sorry, Rwanda. Gaga. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a whole heap of things him, him guilty of. I think that, that, that's oh, why yes. he gets such a bad name, you know, because of his... Mm -hmm. uh, him, him, him going there with, with, with the American them and the, the English them and create mm -hmm. that that perception of, of, of the Republic. Mm -hmm. What do you say about that? What do you think about that? Well, they, they have been meddling with our affairs since... Uh, since even with everything that happened in the wars with the Tutsi and Utsus and the de deportation of, it's they, their hands are really deep in in all of that. And the the main goal is to to keep uh, that area where you have all those minerals to be just disturbed. So as long as the people are not comfortable and there is not peace, well, they can just just steal and do whatever they want to do. Yeah. You know. For what the people, what like you have a president for all of the place, the, them call it Democratic Republic, or are they just militias, factions of different, different tribal chiefs who is like no. divided? We have a, no, we have a president. We have a, a central president. government, yes. Yes, and we have a, a, a democratic government, like yeah, people are getting voted, no. <laughs> Yeah, but how is it, how is it that people, how, how is it that we hear more of Rwanda involvement in a democratic republic than we hear of the president of the, 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 the democratic republic? Or, or we hear female name called so much in you know, the whole scheme of the thing? Well, 
Well, I, I think also there is also a language barrier because here, here uh, because our country is a French-speaking country, most of the information also are not always uh, received here in the English part of the world. But our president has been has been going around and speaking and, and talking. But I think that the, our country is so vast and he has already so much... It's so many, many layers of political. I mean, I'm not really the right person to really be able to talk on that. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, the only yeah, thing yeah. I can say is that he has a lot of things going on, but he speaks on 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 the things. Yeah, well, about the people. Hello. Yes. You're doing something Sorry, else. Excuse me. I think you're doing something else, you know. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> you get distracted, man. Something else has distracted you. Yes, yeah, something distracted me. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Tell me when you're ready. Tell me when you're ready. Um, if I should tell you about what? Tell me when you are ready to speak to me. I'm ready to speak already. I'm so sorry. I'm here. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. You have a special thing happening in DRC that you would invite people to come to. You know, like how we have like a reggae show or we have a, you know, carnival or things. There's something special that the best time of the year, the best time of the year to come to DRC is, 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 is that time. Yes, so, well, um, the, we have in September, at the end of the month of September, we have the Congo Caribbean Fest. It happens every year, and um, so that's where we, from the 19th of September until the 2nd of October, so that's also very interesting, and we are really wanting for the, the people from our community to be, and the diaspora to be able to participate to the, um, the event. What, what, what is it like? Is, is it a stage show, carnival, what is it like? Excuse what me? what is the, the 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 event like? Is it a carnival or is it a festival. stage show? It's a, no, it's a festival. It's a three. It's a the exchange program. So we'll have in Jamaicans who will come to to um to Congo in to ex, do an exchange program in agriculture, history, music, arts, dance, sports, etc. And then at the end we will finish with a festival. A festival of three days with uh, artists from local, from in, international and from the, the country. Yeah. There, there, there's a festival that keep here. It's called Fusing Thing. It keep in Portland. I think this year it will be on the 11th of August. I don't know if you went. I don't know if you're going to be here that long, but it would be nice to see a, a, a kind of indigenous kind of festival in Jamaica. It's in Portland where I met you, um, a, yes. a sister, sister P. I don't know if you hear about it. That would be that would be really nice, and it would be also very interesting if we could have drummers and percussionists, more cultural exchanges with African, uh, uh, because you know we have 54 countries on the motherland. Yes. But more, but more here, most of the time we only relate to Kenya, Tanzania, South Africa, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Egypt, Ethiopia. When we have so much more, of so. For me, I'm re I would really invite to even here in the Caribbean, in the West, when we relate to Africa, to really be more open and, and really relate. Even for me, when I came the, five, the first time here, because I'm a dancer, I, I went to the, the music muse my museum uh, of the Jamaica Music Museum, and I found drums from, from everywhere. But yeah. then this But then you say Kumina comes from the from Congo and in the Congo culture, but they didn't even have drums from the Congo. So I had to come and and gift the museum with drums from the Congo. Yeah. And so I, I invite just my 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 brothers and sisters here to just do an effort to really just be open to really all the 54 countries and all the 54 cultures, and for us to really just you know try yeah. to collaborate together, not necessarily get along or or live together, but just collaborate together. How long will you be here? How long? How long are you going to be here? I'm here until the uh, mid of the mid of June, mid June. Middle of June, okay. Well, maybe we can talk again and see the response that you're getting. You know, because we are right. really like to see response. We, we want to see it work. You know, because we we, we have been known for this. 
going to America, going Thank to you. America, you know. So we, you so we give thanks. Give thanks, Samba. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. All I'm right. going to find, I'm going to find a, a song from the Congo for play for you, yeah? Yes. All right. Okay, thank you. Take a Have break. Have a good and, evening. Yeah. And thank you for your time. Yes. Amen. I'm going to take a break and come. Yeah. You want to see the Congolese, they might dance all the tune here. You know, some party in a Paris, there, you know. Because they saw them there, you know. A Paris, them there, you know. Because <laughs> it's true, them talk French. Them end up a Paris, just like Malaysian. The ma people from Mali, people from Cote d'Ivoire and all them people there, them end up in a Paris. This children have the name of the daughter who we just interviewed, Samba. We're going to play this tune. You know, we're going to take some phone call. We're going to take some phone call. We're going to play this, we're going to play this. Listen. I want to go to Africa. You see, every black man in the West, why? In his... Him is what him want to be when him go to Africa. You hear me? Him is what him want to be when him go home. But there's still a decision for the African they making. You know? Cause them have to come together and make the decision. Africa for Africans are home and abroad. Because we defend Africa. See? But up to now you don't really have like the African come out and say, well then yes, I defend who no. Yeah, you hear me? But still, we can't give up. No. Because we know say, some of them is French, a rule for them country. Some of them is American, some is English, some is German. So, what we are dealing with is something where we know say, if we not deal with it, I mean, it have to be dealt with, you know. We just lucky, say, me glad to say, well, and yes, me know. That when time we fight this war, you know, you find, say, it's not just a war of survival, it's a war of survival of a people. That's Bob Marley. How about that? <laughs> uh, your sounds out there, you know, in the dark. That was Bob Marley talking about Africa, motivation, celebrating, talk things too. I'm not just sing it, I'm talk things too. I'll play it again. When I go in Africa, you see every black man in the West, why? In his. Him is what him want to be when him go to Africa. You hear me? Him is what him want to be when him go home. But there's still a decision for the African they making. You know? Cause them have to come together and make the decision. Africa for Africans are home and abroad. Because we defend Africa. See? But up to now you don't really have like the African come out and say, well then, yes, yeah, nice. I defend, oh no. Yeah, yeah you hear me? Oh, but still, we can't give up. No. Because we know, say, some of them is French, a rule for them country. Some of them is American, some is English, some is German. So, what we are dealing with is something where we know, say, if we not deal with it, I mean, it have to be dealt with, you know. We just lucky, say, me glad to say, well then, yes, me know. That when time we fight this war, you know, you find, say, it's not just a war of survival, it's a war of survival of a people. More than a radio program, it's an institution on radio. The Cutting yeah. Edge on Irie FM with Muta Baruka. Yes, Il. Il. Blessed. Blessed, man. Yeah, what do I know that, my man? Cutting Edge, me who? Yeah, I'm going to talk to you one time, what them done to me over my hospital, stock hospital, you know. You might feel it, you know. Okay. Yeah, are, you I mean, down the, are you the leader of the hospital where the part things broke up? I was in the hospital, I made the pan the outdoor and I picked up two injections to my pants, 22 Okay, inches. okay, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Bye. So I just told Tara, I just told you to show Tara, sir. Mm. So where are you now? Where are you now? Yeah, I just want to show up, you know, remind you what's going to happen, you know. And when okay. you talk about me, I see everything pop up. Everything you know? pop up? What do you mean? Why well, anything I just destroy. Eh? You know? Yeah. And try to use it for any test or any test negative. I should tell my doctor it is the best. Mm. And I put injection, me pick up to my pants, and 
that VIP set up your set my feet and say today. Oh, yeah? You yeah, can't walk. But, yeah, but my feet, my feet, I go back there, they say, no, don't talk it in the open, go in my office. And we go in my office, then send me over to me. And they turn to me, you know, to rub on PM. I'm not critic, I have it all now. But that was a negativity. So, the mm. They embody still on Rastafari. Yeah. I was studying Rastafari. So it don't raise. You know? But did that that you must see I as someone when saying over judgment? And then there was the two hundred chance to my pants and then I must see a must on the way one for eight. Yeah, you didn't tell me that already, man. You didn't tell me that. Yeah, man. <laughs> Remember yeah, you tell me that. Man. Man. You know? You know? Mm. That we have all went some rice. See, man, I said, I don't make rice. Then she would tell me to eat in a one I ate for me to try. Eat with me or so, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, she would yeah. tell me to eat in the but You see me now? I don't deal with the better this year. Yeah. All and right. I hurt me out there, you know. Plant me a plant now to chop rocks. That's good, plant that's good. Banana, yeah. You know? Which part you plant? Yeah. Which part you plant? Which part you plant? Friendship may have, man. Friendship may have. Okay, yeah. all right. Well. <laughs> I yeah, look to forget two bananas and plant them from you then. All right? Yeah, why? Well, I am telling me I used to you in a motor, man. Mm. I, when you went to Africa, when you, you're on a five one, them. I believe mean, whether I walk for India and to. So, I don't want to talk too much. Oh, yeah, the brother walk. Yeah. From, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yes, he walk well, from England to Ethiopia. Yeah. I went and play back that interview there, you know. I went and play it back. Yeah, I went and say, I will be kind with you. This one for you know, when you put up a big day, you do for this one, when this one tie for turn. You know, yeah. uh, you know, the brutes, you know, you yeah. must eat your damn teeth. What do you move to, man? All right. You know, sir. You say, no, man. Yeah, <laughs> man, give thanks, give thanks. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, I remember, give thanks. Yeah. Yes, bless them. Long time listener, long time listener that. From the top of the interview, the long time listener. Congo crisis, in a nutshell. Since 1996, over 6 million people have died in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. So that we, in the Western world, can benefit from its resources. Congo is extremely rich in gold, diamonds, copper, cobalt, tin, uranium, coltan, and many other precious minerals. Congo has 64% of the Earth's coltan, a precious mineral that is needed for our modern electronics like iPhones, iPads, computers, laptops, PlayStations, Xboxes, Nintendos, jet engines, inkjet printers, and the list goes on and on. In 1946, the Strategic Minerals Stockpiling Act was passed to obtain and stockpile cobalt. With the largest reserves of cobalt on the planet, Congo was targeted. Cobalt is a strategic and critical mineral that is essential for our aerospace, military, and defense industries. As the United States and the United Kingdom provide financial aid and military aid to countries such as Rwanda and Uganda, these neighboring countries plunder Congo's natural resources as the death toll rises. In four studies, the United Nations implicated multinational companies in sourcing coltan from Congo, stating that these companies serve as the engine of the conflict in the DRC. As the world benefits from Congo's riches, Congolese men, women, and children continue to be raped, tortured, starved, displaced, and killed. In 2010, a leaked United Nations report cited crimes of genocide may have been committed by the Rwandan troops. There is very little media coverage on what is actually happening in Congo. When Congo is covered by the media, it is often about rebel groups committing mass atrocities. What these reports do not cover are the funding, training, and the arming of these rebel groups by foreign governments. Nothing is ever mentioned about the Western-backed coups, wars, assassinations, or the involvement of foreign corporations in the looting of Congo. Forty-eight women are raped every hour. 
Millions are displaced. Over six million dead. Half are children under the age of five. What is happening in Congo is a silent holocaust. She was saying, well, hear about it. Because we don't have the connection and the links. We should have links all over Africa to tell you what's bad and what's good. You know? And as your sister talked about, that is one side of the Congo. Congo is a big, big, big country in Africa. And that same cult and we might talk about is eating at the iPhone, the cell phone, and all of the, 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 the computer them where we are used. And them know that. So them keep we in the dark. Not only with the good things, but with the bad things. The sister come and tell you, say, it's not everything bad in the Congo. Just like how them paint Jamaica, like, killing a go on everywhere in Jamaica. Three million people live in Jamaica. Three million people live in Jamaica. And every day we hear about killing. But guess what? Majority of the people, them still go to them work every day. Still at work. Who now, who, who at work? You have someone now at work. The majority of the people, them, is moving normally, as normal can be. Even with the, what we hear about the whole heap of killing. And I want to tell you that it's the same thing when we go to a certain country. Certain country in, is in Africa. May I tell you, <laughs> one night, one night, I go to thief a taxi. Literally thief a taxi. In a Cote d'Ivoire, what I call Ivory Coast. Me and Jackie are going to the studio to do the program, Cutting Edge. Just like now, we're going to do the program. And them tell the taxi man must drive to go to the station. And the man are driving on some dark road later. And the man stop the car, the taxi, and walk go over one place that look like a nightclub. But the road not have no light at all. And he left the key in the car. And I said, Jackie, watch out. Me have moved this car here, you know, Rasta. <laughs> me have moved this car here. And me sure I said, I'm going to move it, you know. And I look, me I look behind me now. To see where if the man had come back and she had looked behind me and I said, All right, you know, I move the car, you know. Just as my boat for go, go move the car, you know, I see the man I walk, come back at the car. It's like them, well, uh, uh, some later was uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's a, uh, I tell you, them little thing there, make you know, say, uh, Yeah, we scared, but we're not scared. 12 o'clock. You know, the dog. Brothers, All brothers, right. Brothers, so, <laughs> so yeah, we, we are telling about this little incident with, with me and Jackie in a, in a Ivory Coast. When me had, me had, me had planned to move a taxi. Because it's like, me know some of my pass the, the, the radio station, you know. But the radio station, you have to come off of the main and make a U turn for go which part of the radio station there. And the man passed the radio station, you know, and going on this dark road with no light, no depan. And me and Jackie had the taxi, the man left all the key in the car. I mean, I, I said it already, but no, man, it, 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 it's scary, but me never move him taxi. Me never move him taxi, believe you me. I'm going to report him to the president. <laughs> yeah, I'll report him to the president, but him come forward, I can't remember what thing. It's like about. What? A eight hours in front. I request was eight hours. That means uh, a, a stepping raise a meal ago though. So stepping raise over the start about 10 o'clock in the night. So them hours there. Dark place. Some place where me not stop my car in a Jamaica. <laughs> yeah, what place? Anyway, we will play this and we will play this. Listen. Congo crisis in a nutshell. Since 1996, over 6 million people have died in the Democratic... Hey, we played that. We played that play a while ago. 
Ah, it's a player while ago, yeah. I don't know that one player. This one player. Welcome back. The late fashion designer Coco Chanel once said a woman who cuts her hair is about to change her life. A new study out of the US suggests the pursuit of perfect hair could actually be impacting our health. Researchers looked at 18 hair products sold in the US and traditionally used by black women, like hair relaxers, hot oil treatments, anti-frizz or leave-in conditioners. Every product they looked at contained endocrine disrupting chemicals or EDCs. That, mean, that means they uh, interfere with the way our bodies produce hormones. And many of those products are actually banned in Europe. And what's of particular concern is how few of those compounds are listed as product ingredients. And that makes it difficult for users to know exactly what they're putting on their hair and scalp. While the study is published in the journal Environmental Research, Tola Okogu is a hair care blogger and author. She's with me. Her children's books explore the relationship between girls and their hair. And joining us from Boston, Massachusetts, is the study author, Dr. Jessica Helm, a scientist at the Silent Spring Institute. Jessica, I'm going to come to you first to talk about the health problems that you found black women tend to have uh, more than other women in the US. There was, there was something that stood out for you here. Yeah, thanks for having me. So uh, we know from previously published research that uh, black women have higher rates of uterine fibroids, of infertility, earlier onset of puberty, as well as rising rates of endometrial and breast cancers. And did you find a link with the kind of chemicals that are in the hair products we talked about? So what we found was that endocrine disrupting chemicals were frequently present in these products. We know that uh, endocrine disrupting chemicals are present in people's bodies, that some of the same chemicals that are in these products are in women's bodies frequently. Um, and we know that they have effects at high doses. Our study wasn't set up to specifically uh, answer the fact, uh, the question of whether or not these chemicals were directly influencing health, but the fact that these chemicals are, are frequently found in these products was of concern to us. Let's pick up that concern with Tola, because I know you not only act as a hair care coach, you're aware of what's on the market now, yes. um, but you've been aware of over years the kind of products that have been used by black women to, to care for or tame or however you want, you want to put it, your hair. Yeah, um, with black hair, it naturally requires a lot more products than any other hair type because it's drier and it also requires more lubrication. So black women do tend to use a lot of products in one session, so they'll layer products. Um, and historically, the products that we buy, they are, I've been aware for a while that the ingredients are on the cheaper end and the brands, it does appear to be quite low quality products and most of the products are bought in hair shops in areas where the demographic is majoritively black. And a lot of products traditionally have come in from the States. Yes, they have. Um, historically, I mean, I've been using hair products obviously for a long time. And when I was young, my mother used to relax my hair with little relaxer box kits that were directly imported from the US. So historically, most of our products do come from the US. And Jessica, there, there is another concern which is not often the ingredients aren't fully listed. So it's hard to know what you're dealing with when you buy these products. That's right. Yeah, we actually found that um, the majority of our the, the chemicals that we detected weren't listed on the ingredient label. Um, we did find that parabens tended to be better labeled, but they were by no means always labeled. Um, fragrance chemicals tended to be labeled with the word fragrance, but the actual ingredients within those fragrances were not listed on the label. Do you think, Jessica, that black women who use these products that are directed at them as a, as a market should be worried about their health because of this? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, from a precautionary approach, I think it makes sense to um, reduce exposures to products that have chemicals that may cause harm and where there are opportunities to reduce that exposure. I think it makes sense to do that. Tola, what do you think about that? I agree. I agree completely. A few years ago when I became more ingredient conscious in terms of the products that I use and I kind of pick my products looking at the ingredients list and I've become more familiar with some of the chemical names, I have moved to more organic products and there are more products in the marketplace. There are a lot more UK manufacturers and as the trend has moved towards more natural hair, 
so have the products. So women are being more conscious about what is in the products they're using on their hair and skin, and they're being more careful and picking products that are either more organic or have less cosmeceuticals and more natural oils, etc. And Tola, I'm interested in the fact that you speak to a younger audience as well. I mean, partly because of your coaching, but also the children's books. I think we can show some of the, the front covers of the books that, that you've published and are about to publish. Yeah. And hair care is a massive issue. It is. It, it's something that speaks to the heart of identity for a lot of black women and black girls. Um, it, hair isn't just hair for us. It's the number one signifier of our race and it is very much tied into our race and how we view ourselves and historically our hair has been something we've kind of felt ashamed of and felt was inferior. So my books kind of are about celebrating black hair, black skin, black beauty, and hopefully helping a new and younger generation that's coming up develop a love for their hair and what is naturally coming out of their heads. And Jessica, just a, a, a final thought from you. I mean, the Silent Spring Institute, that makes me think about environmental awareness from the 60s on. And do you perceive that people now are much more concerned about ingredients and environment, especially when it comes to something so intimate as hair? Yeah, I think that there is within some areas of society, there's some awareness, but I think by and large people are generally unaware of uh, the chemicals that are in their products and the potential that those chemicals might have to ha cause to cause harm well jessica i think that's that's an important warning and Tola, i suppose that's part of the the education that needs to be done yeah but our, my advice about would be educate yourself get to know some of the more common dangerous ingredients like parabens and even silicon oils and some of the products you listed are commonly used so if you educate yourself it's you can avoid it and as i said there are more products in the marketplace so there is more choice and more variety well tola and jessica thank you both for joining us here on yes i know so will a black woman when i'm go buy things they're not read label most jamaicans are read label i hear them i tell you say it's important that you read the label for the thing where you have to put in your ear because some of them cause volipa unhuman or inhuman problems. Them say most of black people have those problems. And it all comes from things where we use from our body and go in our body. So warning when I just play them things because for those play sake, we have played for you listen that you can really get an understanding of what really taking place. Serious thing. Africans to seek to regain their independence from the colonial. Okay, yeah. 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 Mandingo. Yeah, what Mandingo, you know, man? What, man? I'm not telling you, man. I. I do know my brethren, Jimmy Jim, at the Vagabond PM. In pass, right? This thing come to. Yes, died on Tuesday. <laughs> you know, say so the drama for the seal was dead? Yes, yes, yeah, he was found dead at his home because um, Bridget then did see him and thing and when he was like him and then was not saying his phone and when them check him, yeah. him dead, dead, dead. So you know? Yes, so Desi Jones dead? Yes, man, sad too. But there's a. There's a. There's a. There's a route. Yeah, man, there's a route. No, man, I know there's a route, man. No, 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 I know there's a route. No, Mr. There's a route who told me that. Oh, there's a route, tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, may I tell yeah, you? Man. Yeah. But I'm just a ghost. So when Jimmy James, where, where's that? Them just find Jimmy James or old go? No, what happened? He was 84. He was actually born the 13th of September 1914 in, um, in St. Anne, Brownstone, St. Anne. Yeah. He, he used to sing on cruise ships and that type of thing, you know. But a couple of years ago, he told me that he had to retire from the singing because he developed Parkinson's disease. Okay, he got okay. Parkinson's disease. And then... He might have had problem too, you know, with breathing. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, he, he died in the hospital near his home, Nostrick Park Hospital, over in London. How many of them you tell me I don't know who named Jimmy James? 
Je ne sais pas si 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 je ne sais pas No, you can't sing, you can't sing. Go ahead. No, me talk, me man. talk, me talk. <laughs> you know you talk, but me talk and me can't sing. Right, yeah, man, go ahead, me feel it. Feel it, me feel it. And you, uh, you know, I remember years ago, him come on from Heineken Star Time. Mm. And, 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 and stop that and, and sitting in the park and some and by, you know, that time Heineken Star Time by um, Oxford Road there. Right, no big stuff, thing. You know? Yeah, man. But, uh, I tell you, man. Uh, and we have to face Daisy Jones, that don't you? So, I tell you. And still, yeah, folks, in, yeah, in, yeah. in a Birmingham, they have to face them drummer dead over there. Yeah. So. I, I, you know, your school that we used to go to, Wesley School, yeah. it's just about two weeks ago or uh, so. I was at the funeral of um, Rocky Campbell. Why you not know, stop you off in a rally, man? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, but him used to go to Wesley School, your school. Eh? Not dirty. Yeah, man, yeah, man, was a well-known singer here in England. I have all the tune named Black, Black Man in England and them tune there. And mm. So, you know, a lot of you know, over the years. Rocky, Rocky Campbell, well-known in the circuit here, you know, and and and. Uh, so we are born in England, it, it, apart from that. Well, <laughs> well, apart apart from that. So you have your thing long, not now go on. Yeah, desperate families have been handed a record three million emergency food parcels, almost double the total five years ago. Oh yeah. yeah? Yes, yes, because of the economic situation, exit and that type of thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the Trust Food Bank revealed that numbers were up for children as well as adults across Britain. And it distributed over 3 million parcels up to the end of March. Yeah. Of which, yes, uh, uh, of which 1,977,308 were for adults and one million one hundred and forty four thousand and ninety six were for children. So and the Prime Minister is supposed to get enough cheers for them some of them on you mean no pressure yes because it is um is is organizations have to be donating these food parcels, mm. you know? And about six hundred and 55,000 people use this scheme for the first time. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So you why do they never use it? Why do they never use it? Because things weren't so desperate, but things get... Desperate, no. You know, that people, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that people were never used to... And in fact, a lot of them were used to look down and going to food banks to get food and things. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 You have to eat, you know, food come before, yes. You know, yeah. so the food challenges have to have to lean and things. And this is why people are saying that the politicians, them, them not dealing with things to allow this type of situation, you know, this desperate type of thing, yeah. nearby some type of thing they are going. Yeah, man. It's, you it's, see, it's, Jamaica it's, just, uh, just give out a sound, say, Palestine should be recognized as a state of the UN. You hear about it? Yes, I heard about it the other day, and they yeah. tell you, I was pleasantly, I was, I, you know, I, I, I was pleasantly surprised that this was done, you know, and the support that move, you know what I mean? Because they make so much wrong moves and yeah. things. Yeah. But it was a good move. Yes, man, because we're really going on. In, 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 in Gaza, West Bank is really, really wicked, man. Terrible. You know, it's it genocide. It's nothing short of genocide. And, and at the same time, while we are talking about what's happening with the Arab Muslims in, 
Gaza and West Bank. We not to take our eyes off what has been going on even longer in the Congo. You know, we, we, just, we, just, we just talked to a daughter from the Congo, you know. You never hear. No, I never heard. I yeah, never we just talked to a daughter from the Congo who there, so I tried to get people for really go to the Congo because she has said it's not everywhere these things are happening. It's sound when you listen to it, it sounds like no, we're not there. You know, the Congo, we're not, we're, we're not have no war. And she has said, no, no, go so. War there, there, but it's not mm. everywhere. It's like Kingston. You know, I know everywhere mm. people are kill people. You know, like Jamaica, you know, mm. I know, like. So she, she, she well, well, that, well, that, that is, that is true, you know. Mm. Because I know, like, in Kasha, which is the capital, and so, you do mm. have that type of situation. But in, 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 so, now the middle of the year, like, one place like that. Yeah. Yeah, break up. Yeah, yeah break up, though. Yeah, break yeah. up. When I hear you. So you're in the now? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, um, Paul Kagame sending poor to in yeah. certain parts. Yeah, yeah. create yeah. the problem. Yeah. Him and the French, yeah, them line true. up, and the British. Yes, when I hear you, Bridget, trust me. And it come, it, it, it's a time signal that when I hear you. Yes, we there with, with you on the cutting edge. Yeah. You there, you there, yeah. still man, Dingo? Yes. Yeah, 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 man, but there, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, And you yeah. know, what? When I hear you, you know. Man, Dingo? Man, he go, him gone, him gone, she ain't. Him not connect. I'm going to take him on next time. I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this. To regain their independence from the colonial masters. Historians will remind us that we were fast enslaved. That Africans were taken, and this we seldom say, the first civilization to take Africans out of this continent were the Arabs. And they took Africans from the eastern coast. And it's sad that in that part of the world, there are not many Africans who remained because it was in the business of the Arab enslaver to castrate Africans. We never say that, but we must say it because it is historically significant. Then the Europeans came, the Portuguese came, the Spaniards came, the Germans came, the French came, the Belgians came. Africa became the hunting ground for the European colonizers, and we were the spot. We built, our ancestors built the United States of America, our ancestors built Europe, and when slavery had lost its shine and sheen, the Europeans abolished it, but they replaced it with yet another pernicious enterprise the colonization of Africa. The Europeans sat in Berlin, in Germany, in 1884, and they looked at the map of Africa and puzzled it out. The British had their share. The Germans had their share, and Tanzania, or Tanganyika, was their share, as was Rwanda and Urundi. The Spaniards were Johnny come lately is in the arena and they got little Equatorial Guinea and Southwest Africa. The French were here, the Portuguese were here, and we were colonized. This time round they did not take us away. They came here and they controlled us and they told us, not in so many words, that we were children of a lesser God. 
and we were treated as if we were children of a lesser God. In fact, they told us that on the day of creation, we were merely hewers of wood and drawers of water. And if anybody were to doubt it in 1948, it was more blatant when Hendrik Fafut instituted the apartheid regime in South Africa. But yet there is a sense in which the God that we worship never sleeps. The colonial enterprise ran its course. And the European tribes, the Europeans never called themselves tribes, they called them nations, were engaged in a war. First in 1918, the European tribes fought. And they had something called the League of Nations, which died. Then they fought again in 1945. And what is unique about the European nations is that when they are engaged in tribal wars, they call them wild wars. <laughs> so there was another war between 1945, 1939 and 1945. And after that, a new kid on the block, the United States of America, took the lead in saying that colonialism was something that was undesirable. But at that time, Africans were never quiet. Those who had been taken out had already started agitating. Many of us here will remember Marcus Garvey, of whom Bob Marley says, Garvey was a buffalo soldier in the heart of America. <laughs> and many of us will remember W.E.B. Du Bois. Many of us we remember that they started agitating that Africans must regain their dignity and their independence. And indeed, in 1847, in Liberia, a small group of Africans were brought back in Monrovia, and Liberia became the first independent black nation in the continent of Africa. So soon thereafter in Sierra Leone, they also created yet another colony. But Africa was colonized, except Ethiopia, which they tried to take in 1938 and exiled Professor Dr. Hale Selassie. And unfortunately, they were defeated, as you remember, in the Battle of Adowa. Africa can defeat European tribes. This history is necessary that we are able to appreciate the freedom that we gained. So that Gavi came, W.E.B. Du Bois came, but there was another crop after the 1940s who had had the advantage of European education. And there were people in Europe also who are beginning to recognize that indeed equality was necessary. And this was not anything new. In 1776 in the United States of America, the American states sitting in Philadelphia in the United States of America declared unto themselves that all men are born equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain and unalienable rights, that among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. A few years later in France, after the revolution, they also recognized that we were to be equal so that the colonized nations which had now taken Africans thought that they were safe. They had taken Leopold Sedar Senghor from Senegal to Paris and they thought that they were creating a little Frenchman. Little did they know that they were creating somebody who would want to overthrow them. They took Félix Oufé Boigny from Côte d'Ivoire and they thought that they were creating somebody who would be subservient to them. They took Ahmed Seko Touré and Modibo Keita, and they thought they were safe. Little did they know that they were creating the future leaders and agitators against French colonization. And they did not stop there. 
The Portuguese also took Agostino Neto and Amilcar Cabral and Eduardo Monlein to Lisbon. Little did they know that those individuals would be the catalyst that would be necessary in the process of decolonization. The British also had their fair share. They took others, they took Mwalimu Kambarage Nyerere, Hastings Kamuzu Banda, Kenneth David Kaunda and many others to the United Kingdom, Jomo Kenyatta. Little did they know that those would be the individuals who sometimes later, and in Ghana of course they took the Osagifo, Kwame Nukuruma, and in Nigeria they took Dr. Namdi Azikiwe, Abubakar Tafawa Balewa, and Sahar Madu Bello, the Sultana of Sokot. There is a sense, uh, therefore, in which these individuals started recognizing that having been enslaved, having been colonized, we now had to liberate ourselves. And the agitation started, and Kwame Nukuruma and his Ghana acquired independence in 1957. And I still can hear Kwame Nukuruma through the vicissitudes of time, saying in Accra, Ghana, that Ghana is free and will never be colonized again. But the freedom of Ghana means nothing if the rest of Africa is not free. Ari of him, thought provoking, always smoking, lyrics like a bazooka. You are listening to Muta Baruka. Yes, ill. Ill. Bless him. Cutting edge. Yeah, man, everything up. Yeah, man. A chicky, a chicky, the, the archangel, this, you know. I don't know how. Oh, yeah, you know, you never know, man. It's the second time I call the program, you know. Where you come from, Evan? No, man, no, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, um, Bob Marley, what you want to give us the teaching of His Majesty? Yeah, so we yeah. don't want the devil philosophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Devil, you see the devil philosophy? I feel the youth, them still, you know, them take it out of the, they take it out of the church and, and the youth, them not learn it the most. So them not, you see the crime of violence are going to the church, you know, mm. not the school, you know. School, yeah. Yeah, because the youth, them not going to send the school teaching again, you see it. Oh. So what them do I get different in you know, them time? What them do I get different? Actually, from two... What kind actually, of teaching them do I get different? I, they may not get, man, but them not... Them what not them do I get? get? What them do I get in at the school? What them do I get? What them not get now? Them now, them now, them now take it now, man. No, now you said them again. you... Wait, no, man. You said them used to get something at school and them now get it again. Oh, and now they have philosophy... I they have philosophy to get, get into the church, but they not teach... Then you, them now get it again, man. I don't understand what you're saying. No. Them not at the school you're talking about. Yeah, the, so the crime of violence are going to the school because you them not get a Sunday school teachment again. Why? Them not a Sunday school again? Because you them not, them not they have, they have Sunday school, yes, but you them not got church again, man. You them don't need okay, them teachers. Okay, 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 okay. So you what we're going to do? What we're going to do? You say, you say if we're in a classroom, mm -hmm. I have the money for the classroom. I tell the teacher, I come and then I see the teacher. The class will mash up, you know. After them, I tell the world, I say, God, I come and then I see the God, I come. You can't get the people to go praise God again, you know. But the people, they might praise God the same way. They might praise God, but they're not praising enough God. Church and state, you know, one supposed to praise, one supposed to serve. So, you know, things that church are keep the same way? It's a keep, but they're not, you know, mostly one set of people that church. Church, you know, wide enough, man. So if he's in the church, you can't help the problem. See the problem. At the church, I've seen the problem this man. Okay. And and until the philosophy is rule and raised superior another inferior, the church is a pint pan team with you know, man. Okay. Yeah, man, at the church, man. The Jamaica Ambulance Church Association needs to wake up, man. It's the Jamaica Council Church Association, man. Yeah, but me thinks that the church are one of the problem are the some of the problem too. Yeah, because it's the kind of the kind of flatness you really go into the church. You can't get the people to go to church, church a good man. The church are the problem, yes, man. So we are going. No, we never go in the church before. Well, you see, when we look at you, we really forgot. We really have to go to Sunday school to get to the Sunday school. No, me no, we used to go. Yeah, boy, yeah, me no, we used to go to Sunday school. Me used to go to Sunday school, but when I say. 
What yeah. is going on now that never go on in the church before? We are going well, now. With the church, the church, I'm mostly the same adult, the same set of people in my God church that's on the daytime and Saturday daytime in the morning. So I want to do okay. you in the church now, you see? So, so why you not try to get up so and send them to a church? I me try, me try that all the while, I want a platform, I don't get a platform, and I find every person to tell you to talk, and everybody can send out the message, you see? What kind of platform you want? You know, just go up on one corner, man, and take your Bible and two niggles and all them, some, and some garlic and sit on up out of the corner. <laughs> with some olive oil. Yeah. Still up on one corner, man. Now, I'm going to try a thing, man. I'll put something on Facebook and so we can't deal with it, man. Oh, Facebook, you're gone. <laughs> that, that, that wait, wait, go on a corner. Go on a corner because you can reach out to the people uh, better. Uh, you, 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 you never debout when, in the days when nearly every corner in a city have a preacher preach on it. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Uh, they know that you feel the man since you believe in the church so much. All right, I'll tell you a thing then. Me, me call you back. I'm in the Panero Canal, yeah? Yeah, all right. The boss are come, man. <laughs> yeah, the boss are coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, Eel. Yeah. Yeah, blessed. Blessed Muta. Yeah, Muta. Mama, yeah, mama. Yeah, mama, I hear you. Yeah. Me just want to say thank you. Yeah, you remember I came about 10 years when you tell the people them to plant trees? Yeah, until I yeah, tell yeah. them. Yeah, man. And then today when me get, when me they are grown, I grown and realized that me pick a coconut and drink it, I say, watch your mouth. I say, me plant coconut tree, you know, and me thirsty, I'm not, you know, pick up your water. Me just me I tell you, me I tell you. Very, very sweet. No coconut water, no sweet like the one where you plant, you know. No water, no sweet like the one where you plant, man. We're not thirsty and choppy. None. No hockey, no nice like the one where you plant, you know. Yeah, tell them, man. Even a key, and when you broke a key, and man, and just chop off all, chop off it, and no say I got plant and just. And yeah, just man. No, no sweet like that. Yeah, man. Give thanks, man. Give thanks. Yeah, man. We give thanks to time, man. And yeah, when man. you come to England already, and when you did there England, you know, when you say you want to go back home, you know. And I come back and nobody go back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> when you, I guess when you come there and say people them are Aki tree, you remember Aki tree, them and look a coconut tree them. Yeah, yeah it was not at the time then. I will say it's been never there more than the experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when we come back, I'm just plant some on the bank in America. I watch ya. Because okay. we got England go plant and my friends say everywhere you go, you plant. I'm of say, course, yeah, plant. Mm. Yeah. We, we, have to take a, we have to take a little program. If you want to hold, you can hold. If not, call back. All right. Yeah, all right. Practice. Yeah, man. All right. All right. Hey, the time on IREFM is... The uh, time is one minute past one o'clock. We're going to have the... <laughs> all right. We're going to have the thing. We're going to have the bread. We're going to have it. No, ma'am, you're not lucky, I'm there. Okay, all right, all right. Yes. yes. So, you know, more of you ask your motor. Mm. United Nations is a fraud, not true? Does it look so? Yeah. It looks so, because, look for a long time. Yeah, because I uh, look for, I uh, look in this modern day, yes, the massacre where Israel had the, we don't actually fit in them and they be able them. Mm. But, and, uh, no, and in at this time, and I like the first time when Hitler went, we never had television and support. But nobody, not even a ball out. No, man, people are ball out. I ask about people now ball out, man. Mota. What? People would have should have ball out more if they're Mota. Eh? Than they pick them. Tell me too. Do I say? People should have ball out more. A thousands of people are ball out, man. You know, see the people them find the road in America. Uh, the college campus them black up. In yeah, a but Europe. The Jamaica. Well, Jamaica now, you see, Jamaican people, no really interested in that thing when they go on in America, you know. If it now go on in America, they're not interested. No. Because even in Haiti, they know, we are going to Haiti. Mm. Jamaican people basically that come like it isolated from them, you know. Yeah, because, but I got me tell myself that media how supposed to highlight those things. Yeah, that may I say, the, 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 the people, them, the, 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 the journalists, them in a Jamaica like kind of us. Eh? 
you know, more if you ask you, why ever, every journalist, right? If one, uh, one media house have one image, everybody take it and repeat the same image. Because I watch Gravitize, and I want image, everybody I repeat. Now watch what? Now watch Gravitize News, right? But every news, I want, I want image. Like every, I just want image, everybody approach here. Like other image not there. Like which image I'm approach here? All right. All right, in Israel, if you say they're going to Israel, it's just when they are going and they are show you where every media house are show. Nobody now show different, 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 different um, section. Like, just like a movie. You mean in a Jamaica? Park. In a Jamaica, you talk? Yeah. Oh, because if you, if you go on YouTube, you see a different, different news reports. Al Jazeera, you know, you see some people from Israel there, where it's Israel. Israeli, eh? we have fight against the, pres- the prime minister. Said we, you have to go find your own news report, Bridget. Yeah, but me realize that uh, um, you come like yeah, uh, who then like then report good then say the good things about who then like who then not like then say bad things about. Well, uh, well, most people say that we are the same. But if I uh, even if you ask, because one of my friends said me say me an idiot, um, a Russian war. Me tell him, say, um, Ukraine can never win the Russian war. NATO can never win the Russian war. And he said, me mad. And I tell him, say, if Russia have, if Russia have more arsenal of you, we I beg people to go help you, to go win a man who I produce. How come? I know America is a problem because the, the Republicans, them no want to support the Ukrainian people, them, you know, them war. Not, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, they're not that natural. And me think that um, Putin make a wise move still. Start fighting NATO before they come to clean. Because of that, they knew what I'm going to do. Uh, what yes. you say? Well, you know, me, you know, what you say? Well, that's about what? About Putin? Or about yeah, the war? The, uh, why? You haven't tell you why? You remember one time you remember Sefi and uh, watch the movie Art of War? Watch the movie? Art of War. You remember about 10 years ago? Yeah, I tell you to read the book. No, you have to watch it and read the book. Yeah, yeah. And in Art of War, yes. you say, if the enemy is coming, I have to appear. You start the war before you come from second. Okay. So, Mr. Putin used the Art of War and yeah, listen. start the war to the second. Yeah, learn one. Trust me. How <laughs> <laughs> would you explain it? I remember, though, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 so you start the war before, before them second. So by the time them second, yeah. you're already with the war. You're already over upon them. You're already over upon them. Yeah. Well, may I tell you, glad for you, so now listen, so. Glad for you, man. It made me feel like I do something, you know. No, man, you are do sitting a long time. You are do sitting before me, sitting there, and I'm sitting there. I tell me, say, I'm a 30 year old now, you know. I'm mean, yeah. a good father. Yeah, yeah more than 30 years, me there. More than 30 years. Yeah. More than 30 years, me there. No, me, I say, my child, Tani, is a Yeah, a, a 30. Yeah. And yeah. me, I tell him, say, because Muta, me, me be who me be. Because me farm, and me say, look around me, yard. People said they don't have, but me have more than enough to give away and sell. Of course. So, of course. You see, we have things we are right now. I say, how come someone that say they don't have nothing to do? And they say, get up for one day, plow one banana tree every week. By the end of the year, you don't need to work your person. Dozens of banana tree. Dozens of banana tree. Yeah, man. Motor sucker, yeah. where you dig out of that? That's the teacher planting. Even if you plant, if you plant, if you get five soccer, and five. one year time you dig out the five soccer, you plant that back. A five, five, yeah. twenty-five soccer that you gonna get no, you know, with the five soccer, yeah. you know. And then you go there, you get, I multiply the twenty-five by twenty-five. I saw it and multiply, but, but people don't know uh, that. You know, the fifth month you pass seventy-five plant soccer already. Eh, yeah. see there. Seventy-five. I'm mm. a tell me that before year done. Me supposed to plant 500 plants so because we can plant shots. And so much land you have, man? How much land you have? How much land you have? Uh, I think I was 17 acres. Yeah, which part you live? Which part you live? 
No, I'm on the south, me there, man. Me there, on the south, man. Where you at, man? Yeah, but well, me there for new market. You know, come new market. No, man. new yeah. market, they far from where me there, man. What kind of new market they far? Me come at junction, come come by street, come 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 plant. Watch, out, man. Me, then if you come at junction, me no come at me no me come at junction because me have to go there, to go Treasure Beach. Okay. But me no come at my, my the only time me come at new market, I will me I drive go up there, to go through, to reach what long a man to go be here. Uh, okay, so you have to pass my yard. Oh, my pass the yard? Have to. Why you come new market where you have to pass my yard? Eh? Yes, but yes, me yes. not come the regular. Me not come through the way the regular. But, but Mota, mm. you know, say me left in England, right, and come back and don't go back. And if you look for my banking, me have coconut, me have cheese, me have papa, yeah. me have aki. Everything will then send up a plant for the banking, send me mad. Mr. You plant it. <laughs> you got plant here, my dear, sir. We're glad you, you feel proud of yourself, man. We're glad that. We feel good. Yeah, man. I tell them, say, I got to sit down and die and tell me coconut. I got to tell uh, me aki. I got to uh, tell me right on the gate. Ah, uh, sir. Give thanks for you. And, and you tell me, say, we plant it. Everything when we eat, we want to plant it. We don't have to eat. <laughs> Everything. Every seed will come in on my mouth, motor. Are you plant it? it. Everything when me eat, man. I'll come on mango, man. The first is that I want come on mango seed, man. Yeah, when me plant mango me tree, too. Yeah. My plant are sinking, too, you know. Yeah, man. What me don't know? How long it takes me, bro? Up five years, me say six years. Okay. You know, someone take... give one jackfruit, though. It's three days jackfruit. A tree jackfruit tree, man. What is it? See a jackfruit now, dear? Why you say that? <laughs> you know, you know what I know. Because I know that she has a beer. Why you, you say that? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you mean me Jaffo Tree now, beer? How long now you planted? Oh, wait a minute, I say, man. Every time, watch out. Right now, it beer now till it start, uh, no beer again, it rotten up because sometimes I say me eat, I don't know what I'm going to eat. Yeah, man, I don't know what I'm going to eat. 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 I don't Year and a half when I come here. So how I see Jack Root Tree beer, I say, you know, say Jack, Jack Rastafari, right? this year I'm going to win it here. I now left the Jack Root Tree and make it drop off. And I that's why I me, me tell my wife, say, go on and come back. Yeah, well, me have Jack Root, man. How are you, say, man? Jack Root, my Jack Root Tree beer, man. So I'm to your cane, them. Oh, all right. I have cane, but right now I'm bridging... He might, he might deal with the key and vibes, right, you know, because the ill kind of gets steep for me, you know, you know. For go long for the key, for go long for the key in them. Yeah, I get old. Everyone away. <laughs> yeah, I know, so I get old. No, me not go back long, so man. Okay. And the young boy, you know, I chop no land again, you know. All right, Mota, here we go do. I really, I know that we can't go down there, you know. Yeah, but he's struggling to come back. Come yeah, yeah. You, know, you, know, you don't know the thing, man. You don't know the thing, man. Yeah, man. Self-preservation. Yeah. You get... We want some flat land now. Flat land for plant, man. All right. Here what you do. You go check me on me and your farm, man. Eh? We want farm, we want feed you and your wife. Because I say, if a woman have you, it must be a God have you. Because you're a determined man, you know, man. Eh? Yeah, man. Me... You know, son, you me love, are you, are your wife me love, because I him keep you. You never hear up on the radio the other day with, 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 with Kashima. No, Thursday. Because, Last because, week, Thursday, she left on the radio with Kashima, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man, blaze up the airwaves, man. I tell you. <laughs> for YouTube, the for WhatsApp. I don't know where it is, but I do such a blaze up the place. Yeah, man, I tell you, Muta. I tell my wife, you know. I tell my wife, I say, you see, Muta. I woman will keep it. Better right now, my woman gone to England and I say, right now, me didn't mean one to come back. Me care man it to myself. <laughs> then I shoot. Me care, me care come down, see us and come down. Then all you talk about me, I get old. All you talk about me, I get old. Yeah? Me can't go up any staircase, <laughs> man. Old. No, man. Staircase don't stop me, man. Staircase don't stop me, no. Staircase don't stop me. What you see with me? Because they come, I right, make us pray to one and spray. I'm not even going to go upstairs, you know, I'll go to the upstairs, you know. 
No, 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 stop. Because I don't use elevator when I go in a business place. I don't use elevator. No, you're tall, I'm going to... What do you when you come to England? When Sinua fall, what do you do? Sinua? Yeah. When you're Sinua? I want to know. I saw you call Sinua. You see the beast from the east? I didn't know when the beast from the east. Although you come after. What I know is that I was in a big old thick shoes. Me, 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 me feel cool. No, my lord, you have to see me if you know where me I do, man. Ask anybody where they are in England where, where me do where me reach over there. Eh? Ah, where me there. Ask one of your friends when they see me in England in the cool where me I how me stay. Eh? Alright? Anyway, we'll give somebody else a call, though. Alright, alright. You take care. Love nice you. talking to you, man. You're, you're, you're yeah, kind man, of perky. Listen up. I'm yeah. going one past St. Elizabeth. Sunshine. All right, bro. We live up Sunshine, nice studio, Irish FM. You know who? All right, sir. Give time. Yeah, but I'm going to give you some kids. 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 You know, yeah. That, but I'm going to have kids with three times for your kids. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mota. Mota. Yeah. Mota. Mota. Yeah. Mota. Yes. I tell you something what happened to me. You see picture when you got tough gun where Bob Marley the pan. Mm. You know so me have the original picture in my yard and me tell you say one give your hit sit through you say. Me no know how me get it. I want yeah. a man come from town but he about twenty five uh, years. The tough gun where you see Bob Marley. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on your research. Alright, really, let me ask you a question. We, you, you're gonna have the key, man. A stripe key in your plant? I plant every key, I plant black key, I try to No, the black key them too tough, Rasta. Muta, if I give you a black key with inside yellow, you never taste a key like that. No, a mill, I want a mill, I have a key in mill, you know. Muta, all of my key in the mill, Muta. All right, all right. We have to go now, we have to go. I have to go. My favorite pan, you know. All right, we have to go. All right, see it, I love you. Take yeah, care. man, bless you, man. Give thanks, Bridget. Why, you're, 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 you're sweet, my man, you're sweet, me. All right. So we all take a break and come forward. Yes, I tell you, say, and them kind of voice, say, make me know, say, me not do nothing in vain, you know. Yeah, man. Uh, them bridging there, me, me know, say, what me I do is not in vain. Them kind of man, they were just calling me from market there. Yeah, Yell. Yell. Yeah, Muta. Blessed man. Good morning, sir. Morning, sir. I uh, uh, two questions to ask. Maybe he's seen people that stick on for you, sir. Eh? Insane people, them. Insane people, them. Let's stick on for you, sir. Do what kind of people? Insane people, them, man. The insane people. Not true, we must say insane. No, sir. You look like I don't come to them. I know insane, them insane. I'm mad, them mad like me. Huh? <laughs> no, sir. You insane, I'm mad. I do different things to me, though. Uh, uh, and he's not even there with my mad bad. Oh, you think so? She's madder than me. <laughs> no, me no man. Me, 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 Marodine, when you ain't got Marodine. Oh, what if you not have a Marodine there? Yes, man. I yeah. see him. Come on, yes, he's still on an eye, man. But they, and I give him three when I pass and go. Okay. I see him asking me to go up on the right road. Okay, I, okay. I, I am Mr. Miguel when I care to. Eh? Yes, man. All right, sir. Eh, but boy, I mean, I know why he's seeing people that still can't find him. Sometimes I don't feel like hearing him. You know, afraid of money, go, man. Hey, with 90 man call to money dead. Man, didn't go? Eh. <laughs> I do listen. <laughs> no, yes, yeah. In God, I'm 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 in God, I'm
publicized prediction the world did not end over the weekend which means a number of preachers who live like rock stars will get to continue living the good life how good here's lisa guerrero and the i squad with a look at some who've been preaching prosperity who are living large fresh wind fresh they are some of the most popular tv preachers in the country we're family here they urge the faithful followers to donate generously and in return the lord will bring them prosperity I'm not going to be going to heaven and be broke when I get there. And there's no denying some people have prospered handsomely. Wow! The They're pastors themselves. The they live like rock stars with huge mansions, private jets, and fancy cars. Their lifestyles are so lavish, six of them have been investigated by the U.S. Senate. Like Paula White, who lives in multi-million dollar homes in New York City and Tampa, Florida. And Creflo Dollar, he gets around in style, flying in private jets to preach around the country. He owns this mansion in an exclusive Atlanta suburb. Mr. Dollar, how do you Not one of them would agree to an interview about their opulent lifestyle. How do you justify your million dollar mansions in your jets to all of your donors, sir? Oh, yeah. But when it comes to opulence, few religious leaders compare to Kenneth Copeland. You and I are supposed to always have. lives in this home outside Fort Worth, Texas. It has beautiful water views and comes complete with a boathouse. But that's not all. Copeland is an avid pilot, and here's his pride and joy, a $20 million Cessna Citation jet. It's the fastest private jet money can buy. He said he needed it to better serve the Lord, and proudly did a flyby for his followers after the church bought it. But it's not just one plane. We found a fleet of planes registered to the church. And you won't catch him waiting in line at the airport because he's got his own. The Kenneth Copeland Airport located right next to his mansion. I think Copeland is unbelievably greedy. Ole Anthony heads the Trinity Foundation, a religious watchdog group that worked closely with the Senate committee investigating Copeland and other TV preachers. Televangelism alone is at least a two and a half to three billion dollar industry untaxed, unregulated. That's right. By law, religious groups like Copeland's are exempt from federal taxes and they don't have to report how they spend their money to anyone. Amen. Copeland's church takes in tens of millions a year through donations and selling books and DVDs to his donors. She sent them a lot of money, a, a whole lot of money. When Christy Parker's mother died of cancer, she found diaries that showed her mother sent Copeland most of her life savings, hoping her faith and donations would cure her of her terminal disease. What do you think of Kenneth Copeland's lifestyle? TV doesn't do it justice. Their office furniture is probably worth more than most people's houses. 
It makes you sick. Oh. Copeland refused our request for an interview, so we caught up with him at an event in North Carolina. Now, why you're living such a lifestyle of luxury off of church donations? Ma'am, I don't think we have time for this. Thank you. Why won't you answer our questions? A hotel employee tried to prevent us from taping. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Come here. It's just a simple question, sir. Yes, I'm going to give you a simple answer. Thank you. My lifestyle follows the scripture we give, we believe, we're open. You have a fleet of private jets. Why is that necessary? You're a minister. How many private jets do you have? Right after that, he walked away. Although Copeland says he cooperated with the Senate investigation, the Senate committee disagreed, saying only two television preachers did, Joyce Myers and Benny Hinn. And the committee recommended that the IRS investigate further. Because, folks, I got to tell you, when it comes to truly major league, you have to stand back in awe, in awe of the all-time heavyweight champion of false promises and exaggerated claims, religion. Organized religion. It's no contest. Religion easily, easily has the best story of all time. Think about it. Religion has convinced people that there's an invisible man living in the sky who watches everything you do every minute of every day. And the invisible man has a list of 10 specific things he doesn't want you to do. And if you do any of these things, he will send you to a special place of burning and fire and smoke and torture and anguish for you to live forever and suffer and burn and scream until the end of time. But he loves you. He loves you. He loves you, and he needs money. <laughs> he always needs money. He's all-powerful, all-present, all-knowing, and all-wise. Just can't handle money. <laughs> Religion takes in billions and billions of dollars. They pay no taxes. And somehow they always need money. You talk about a good story. If I may be permitted a small pun, holy. Yes, so I take the last break and come forward. Yes. Yes, yes Ian. Yes, yes, Shane. Morning, Shane. Morning, Shane. I'm not talking about Shane. Uh, Shane, say, car. Why, you know, Shane. All right, let me hear you, man. Let me hear you. Mota. Yeah, man, me there. Morning, sir. Morning. I still listen to your JB Wedge, man. Eh, hey, me there. Yeah, cutting edge. Mm hmm. You know, sir, from Manding, you get cut off Mota, me, me, I depend on the line here. Oh, Manding, go what? But from Manding, you get disconnect, me, depend on the line here. Oh, yeah? Judge, I know me, I tell you some. You know, other people, people get time before you. Other people get time before that you. That me, I wonder. That me, I wonder. Because, mm. um, me hear you talk to two men, you know, one of them long, talk to one of them long, and then you start to the clip again. And me, I say, Judge, I'm out. I must know, say, I'm in the panel line. Oh, we must know. Oh, me know. Oh, you think me know? I don't know. I mean, just I say, you know. Uh -huh. All right, we want to ask you if you think name have anything to do with anybody or anything. Name. If name, it well depends on where the name mean and where. And who gave the name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because usually in Africa, yeah. the parents look upon the youth. Yeah. And if they want the youth to turn out a certain way or so, they give the youth the name according to that. Yes. And then when look at you would grow up and know him mean like him name. Mm -hmm. You know, it gave me more confidence in himself. Yes, like where your name was on Thursday evening, yes, sir. Yeah, the African name them, yes. The African name them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, you when, when when people listen to it, 
Uh-huh. And them them say why I'm a light and name for my picnic, you know, when I'm born or so. Yes, yes. You know, and then them yes. give the name. So when the name when the youth grow up big, you know I'm saying, when that, when that, when my name because people are gonna ask them, you know. Yes. So where you get that name from? And say my father give me an African name. Mm-hmm. So what it mean? I tell them it it, it oh. sounds more pleasant to the ears. Yes, mostly. Yes, until I, I, I say yes, your name. I, I, yeah. Miss White. I I give one of my you name OJ, OJ, something like that. I mean, hear your name out, one name like that. That me yeah, right down the meaning, right? But me can't really tell you the meaning, right? Mean right, you know. Cause. OJ. OJ, yes, I hear you give that name there. Okay, okay. I mean, I don't give one of my you name that name there already. Well, without a doubt, you know, most of the yes. youth in Jamaica, I mean, I say it like yes. me a boast, you know, but most of the youth in Jamaica who uh, have an African name. Yes. I mean, give them it. I know, I know. Yeah, from the nineties, they when we started. Yes, yes. we give them the name them. So, for real, for real. So, I want to ask you this question: What, what meaning are you? You know what the meaning are you? Today is a laughing night. Yeah, look. Why, but it's so depressed to rat it. Me glad for the little laughter, man. What do you mean, man? Rare, I just. It's like a man feel good of joy. It's a rare, you know. Yeah. People say Ray Ray for different reasons nowadays. Definitely, because I know. Um, People are saying Ray Ray yeah. now because certain clothes that them have on a Ray Ray. They have a Ray Ray market where yeah, right. uh, Bend Long Plaza. Nobody's uh, going to further that motor. It's like a Bend Long yeah. Plaza thing, yeah. Yes, nobody's going to further that. So, this market, I you know, yeah, that's one of the main thing where I get turned down every year. I wonder. Because we just say Ray Ray and I know substantial. But the people, them things substantial in the man. Yes, but yeah, the, the things in the substantial. But yeah, all, this market, all, get, people, all this market, I get burned down to every year. I wonder if I need Well, police have got to figure that out because we can't figure that out. Police have got to figure that out. No, yeah, yeah, man, because a long time from the market, I get burned down, I say this to you. Know, so I wonder if they want to change the name of that market, the man. Because the name, the, that name, they don't no, no, no fit so. I don't know. think of the name why they burn it down. Well, name have meaning. And somebody have got to somebody in there or something. Mm-hmm. The name not going to do with, with, with all the mark. Something wrong there for man. them. Something not right there. Something right because some people in there go to land bad mind. Every market. Every market. Every eh? market that you know. You know. What is it? No, I mean, every market that you know. The bad mind and covetousness and all them type of things. Every market in it, it's in a, you know. Yeah, but what I say, me not think yeah. that the name why them bought it. Well, <laughs> John, no, I tell you what you know. Look, I mean, you know, if you want to think that, think that, you know, but me not think that you the name why people are born it. All right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah, man, you know, I mean, you talk about this YouTube thing, you know, more than fear a reason for if you ban it out of Jamaica. I mean, you talk to one brethren, one idea about the, 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 the um, YouTube thing, you see, and you tell him, you know, the reason why make why America want to make you a say if you ban you have a different reason and you yeah, know tick tock me look, me a, yes me I look for something you know more time then me ask you when I see this thing I was so shocked because I see the crime minister for our platform our permanent man depending on two and him tell him which part time when if you go do and what well, yeah, 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 yeah. do and and um two to two two woman and then the, the man, the, the platform, all the man has said, fully done. That are the crime minister. I said to the man, fully done. And the man I tell him when we got to do with him. Yeah. You know? I mean, I wonder, if, I wonder if you see all these things. You know, them, them, them can't take you no know, action against them things. I don't know. I'll try to try, try find out. Mm-hmm. 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 So, when I tell a man, say, boy, a man, we set you up by doing these things, take off your head and put on the next man's head and, you know. Yeah, your voice now, voice. Yes. Yes, clone uh, your voice now, it's a new thing I'm, now for I'm clone put, people voice. And put two separate persons together like, yeah, 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 war. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And, you know. You Big know, headline. So, yeah, Muta Baruka uh, expose. Yes. You know, then we yes. get it. Definitely, definitely. One more thing before me move, cause um I hear you talk something the other day about um the, the world court. The world and court and some abortion thing, right? What must about the world court? 
Yes, like them are talking about some abortion things, so them ban abortion and all the all 52 states in America, how much states in America have to govern under what the world court say. No, no, the world, world court. I know the world court, but the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court. In America, they did have mm. a law from mm. the, how much, on 200 years ago, mm. where Donald Trump bring it back. Yes. Yeah, so that is where the woman, them, I, 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 I get crazy over that. The woman yeah. must have a right to deal with her own body. The government mm-hmm. must tell the, 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 the woman what to do with her body also. So, mm-hmm. I forgot mm-hmm. what the, the law name do, but I know mm-hmm. the World Court and the Supreme Court of America is U.S. Yeah. Supreme Court. Yeah. And the highest so, court in the land, you know? Definitely, sir. The highest court in the land. In, a, so, in America, may I talk, in a, you know? Yeah, in America. Yeah, yeah them so, set the um, president yeah. for anything we are going as it were. As it relates to the law yes. and the constitution. So, um, according to that quote, no, anything him say at the last year, right? Uh, yeah, you can't go no. Cause it's, all right, you have punch. All right, America is a continent, you know, and the state mm-hmm. them come like little country. They have mm-hmm. their own yes. governor, and some yes. have the, have them own law. Yes. So sir. what the law gonna say in a Florida? Gonna don't go for the law in a in a Philadelphia. Yes, but now you have a federal law. Mm-hmm. And the federal law now is your govern the mm-hmm. whole state them yes, in America. So you have yes. the calls, Supreme Court, I like them Good. call it. Good. So the final, the final say. Final, yeah. Them say have the mm-hmm. final talk, yeah. Yes, sir. Well, let me ask you that, you know, Muta. Uh, I want to mention something about cartel. But how oh, do you say that I don't know? How do you say that I don't know? No, no, it's linked it link to this. It, that's why I me mention that first. You know, mm, but yeah. it linked to this that I may talk about. And cartel now, how how for him thing go? I I I, I think say what anything. Do you mean him go? Fi cart, cartel rolling in a the the all right. Our the court now, England Supreme. Court. All right, we yeah. govern well. Jamaica governed by the Supreme Court, not England. Definitely, and all the Caribbean island, right? No, 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 no. Only no. Jamaica. No, no, Ongo Jamaica, but we just talk about Jamaica, you know. Yes, all right. And okay. all the island, them, at Jamaica, we are talking about. Okay. Jamaica, we have a, we, we're not independent. Mm-hmm. So we, we still hold on to the crown of England. Yes. yes. So the, 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 the court in England is the last say. Mm-hmm. When you want appeal, you go to the, 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 the England court. Yes, sir. To get the appeal. So them say, no, uh, you know, the cartel thing, the, go, the them say, them see some discrepancy, and I think they must go back mm-hmm. to the court mm-hmm. and figure out what they have figure out. Good. So that is what they might do now. Yes, because I think, I think I learned said, the Supreme Court in England said, in quash the case. You never hear that? In quash the case? In say, in quash the case. I don't remember hearing that. Yes, sir, that, uh, that I saw, uh, that I So what does that mean to you when they say, what's the case? When they say, them, well, I would ask you the same question, but should you ask me first, may I go answer you? Yeah. When a man say, you quash a thing, that no means you say, say, well, you're done with it. You're done with it. You're yeah, fine. But, uh, yeah, but, but it's not done. Yeah, but... Because the, mean, DPP, I, uh, no, the DPP can't bring it up again. He can't bring it up again. Yeah, man, it's not done. I just to come out. Uh, yes, because um, I think that court should be the final decision and have the law say. Yeah, so but the law, never, the, the law never said done with that, it must go free. Mm. They never said that. Well, me can have, 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 have a little issue with it because if you say you quash a king, brother, if you say you quash yeah, a king, Yeah, but you use the word quash. I saw them say, I saw no, them but media them not say. have no word quash in English. And you are say quash, Jamaican say quash. You have to tell me exactly what them say. Well, as, as so Jamaican say, I don't know if they use an next term, but as no, the term but, Jamaican but, use man, quash. Jamaican use the term quash. Okay, quash means to them done with it. That's how we do it. We quash me. But, but I bet you yes. say the Supreme Court never say that. Well, then, I do go... Yes, yeah, it, because it, if it is yes. say that, he would have come back out of the road already. Exactly. So then and then the DPP would not look about it again. Yes, so then if we fix up the argument because then we mislead people because when people... Who are mislead people? Who are mislead people? 
I don't know which one of them. Anybody a YouTube, I'm just reading, man. A YouTube, YouTube, I'm just reading. Anybody, anybody use the word quash? Them are yeah. misleading people. A you, a YouTube, I'm just misleading, misleading, misleading. You understand? Yeah, man. And then again, me I tell us a motor <laughs> cartel, cartel. You know, say I, I get the figures. Yeah, they might. One per, one permanent person. No, but you're gone for the next thing I know what you say you're done and other people are wait. But look how long me are wait motor, you know. So no, but you're, but you're the two you're wait or you spite somebody else. No, man, me not spite nobody. Yeah, but you're gone you you about 15 minutes and over jail. Yeah, me are wait over two hours. What? I'm here wait over two hours. So what you're saying? Nobody has to talk until the program. I'm here to just go lay down and I'm here to pass the phone and I jump up. So you're showing me now saying nobody has to talk until the program. You never say that. You never say that, Mota. Them men are talking. Look how long you're talking. Yeah, but me are telling you, say, the pan is long now. Give me the time when the pan left on the radio. All right. Give me one minute. Give me one minute. Let me say regret to some family who lose a loved one in my community in a balaclava or an Armstrong. Yeah? All right. Go on. Talk. Talk. Yeah, man. Yeah. Me, me family. Maclish family. Me just them, them are sleep now or them wait? Them wait? Well, I don't know if they wait. You know, Mota. I mean, right. I'm in my house. Me, them, I don't know if they wait. Can you have some list now? Where a man in has me done chat. You know, a man in them see me. They must say, me here, you talk to the boss last night. You know, because okay, them okay. Started, you know. Yeah, me here, I talk to the boss last night. So, me don't want to heal up them daughter. Them, see? All right. Especially the one when you seen this. She, she not left cutting edge, she not left arm step in the razor. Let me tell you. All right, sir. Blessed night, sir. Yeah, man, give thanks. Yeah, man. Yes, this is the cutting edge. We want to tell you, sir, we'll be back here at 2 p.m. to 5.45 with the stepping razor, the art of war. We give thanks to the for the moment and the time and the energy, we will take a call. Yes, heal. Rastafari. Blessed life. Rastafari. Blessed man. Yeah, man. They are yellow up the eye, you know. Give thanks. <laughs> yeah, man. They are yellow up the eye, Rastafari. But you know, meditation is my whole Rastafari. You know, a long time you know hear you. Yeah, man. I said, God, man. Long I time you know Motor. Motor. Yeah. Can't call him my father in the feet, you know. Rastafari. Okay. Yeah, man. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Great things they do over the years, Mota. Um, well, me, I, me, I meditate the children them now. <clears throat> and the killing and stabbing and... You know, because what day my, girl, my little daughter go, I go up on graduation, you know. Left from primary and go somewhere else. I'm going to meet and hear the principal attack. And, mm. and, and I'm going to describe the children them. But me, I say, if the children them grow up in our world, we all, where most things that they must speak is all about violence and sex. Yeah. Then you can't blame the youth them if you see them all live. Definitely like that. not. Yeah. You know, so. That's why I mean, that's why I mean, I say you should have banned certain things. Certain things should have banned. Yeah. But as I say, these people are going to let them come to kiss certain people. Yeah. Harsh. So if them claim saying for them society, certain things can play and show, yeah. always negative, and them know it's going to carry a negative effect on the people, them. Uh, yeah, them don't care. Mm. Them don't care and come like our people and follow them same way, or our leaders and things. So. Yeah. And them things are cause judgment, you know. You know? Yeah. So yeah. no matter, you, 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 you can't tell a person if you do good, but at the same time, all you see their mind is a bad thing. Yeah, it's like it's like um Biden now he my talk about say they might commit genocide and I think but he still has sent bomb go get them. Yeah. <laughs> you see me. Still has sent yeah. bomb on the corner. Yeah, you know. So. He might give them food over there so and I get on next the enemy the bomb over there so. Yeah. Joke business. Yeah. Yeah. Joking. Joking. You know, a lot of things. Sometimes I sit down and I look on the world me living in, cook crawling near to fifty now. Mm. Looking back as I get to your grow up, and when we learn, and when we looking at the world, me I say, but yeah, you know, I say this world. I think this world is full of some educated fools. Yes. Yeah. You know, we still not understand the true purpose of life, yeah. which is to do good. You know, because they are bad and good. 
And when you sit down and look into life, the only thing makes sense of it, do good enough. Yeah, of course. And as we are do things in our life, and we are experienced back reaction account to reaction, we supposed to can look into what is happening and know, say, all right then. We want, God, we want this to come about, but by going it about this way, it will bring a certain side effect, which is not good. So let us find a next way to go about it without carrying that bad side effect. Because it's all about finding the way to reach our goal without yeah. disturbing nothing else. Yeah, without you disturbing know, so. the nature at all. Don't do it disturb yeah. nature. Yeah, yeah, which is the, the head, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so... I will be fooling Shagwan with some people where I come up and read and I go out them love children and then rare and them see them and promote the very thing. We are cause the children to be what they are. Yeah. You know, so bless up Mota and bless up um, yeah, man. Jerry, Good my time. brother, and yeah, man. Man. you don't know. Long bless him, man. If you can come up and read, you know. Yeah, me here. Me here. Okay. All yeah, right. Man. Give thanks. Bless up. Yes, yeah. I. My people, that was a journey, a really, really long journey. Give thanks to the ones and ones who made it this far. If you do end up reach this far, type Black Power down in the comments so I can know that you are one of the ones that reach this far. So, people, y'all hear what Mota Barakoff said, a whole lot of things, my people. So, definitely state your opinion, feel free. And you know, it's a black power movement. So, definitely drop a like and subscribe and share to a friend or a family so they can be a part of the movement. Now, my people, I'll catch you in the next one. I